Well, hello everybody, it is me, a British guy, coming back with another video um, on some of those games we were talking about yesterday. Today we're going to look at Dragonary. We're going to dive in, hopefully by the end of this you should have an understanding of how to play this game, how to play this uh, play-to-earn NFT uh, game. It is new in development, they've got lots of updates still still to happen, there's some bugs, there's glitches, there's, there's loads of goodies to, to, to navigate around sort of thing. But we're going to sit there, I've got my cup of tea ready next to me sort of thing. We're going to have a little explore around the white papers, the tokens, um, how, you, how to upgrade, how to fuse, how to battle your dragons. Um, if you're familiar with Axes, you've seen how um, successful that was. That was one of the originals. That was um, it's probably about a three-year-old project now. Um, the, the Axes there are going for over over three hundred dollars an, an axie sort of thing which is priced a lot of people out in market so a lot of people are turning over to Dragonary which is a Spanish run a Spanish run company so um, let's have a little look around here I love the idea of this we're going to go through some of the um, some of the um, tech side of things first some of the white papers the tokens how they had their initial ape offering and some of the questions around that because i know a lot of people got really confused with the over oversupply um over oversupply sale sort of thing a lot of you didn't quite understand what you were buying into uh, we noted dragonary to our community a few days in advance so if you're in our discord if you're in our facebook if you're in our telegram everyone had a heads up on this so everyone could do some research and, and, and get on on this um, if they chose to before the launch because you want to get in the launch people it's, it's all good fun to, to and this is brand new still something but getting on launch day is is um is half the battle so dragonary what is dragonary it is a it is a little battle game let me actually you know what i'm going to do is i'm going to load up um a round of dragonary and you can see me um see me fight just one quick round so you can see what i get up to there hold on let me load it up Okay, so here we are inside the game now. I just wanted to give you a quick idea of, of what the interface looks like, just so you can visualise while we're going through the rest of it, so you know what it is I'm talking about. Here you've got the energy bar sort of thing, you've got the count rarity and a few little buttons down the bottom for your cards there. The left is story mode, right is embers. Embers is the pay to play, but we're going to go and do one of the missions just for the experience sort of thing. Um, let's go in here. So this one here you can just grind to get EXP to level up your dragons. Our dragons on the left here. We've got our fire sort of thing, our ice, sorry, our water, electric, and our earth element one. Down the bottom sort of thing, we have their special ability attacks. So, for example, we can sit there and use them, um, add tank to, to shield. We have our electric attack sort of thing. We have our ice attack, which is pretty cool. Really quite powerful, actually, these little guys. And then we've got our healer. I think that's a well-balanced little team, so I, so I like that. Uh, you can obviously do it all manually, as I just did there. We get our experience, they level up. Or you can sit there and throw it onto automatic mode and double speed. But if you really want to start there and just start grinding the game. Um, it's a pretty simple game. Really, really easy to, 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 to do. Um, you know, 15 minutes in the morning with a, with a cup, of, cup of tea. You, you do your you do your um, your round and you get your points and you, and you get your tokens at the end of the day. Perfect. Okay, so as we just sat there and saw in the game there, sort of thing, we have our different elements, our different types of dragons, which can um, be three different forms as they evolve. Uh, the lower levels, the the commons uh, evolve uh, much quicker than the rares and the epics and legendary sort of thing. Uh, they max out on level twenty. I've got a little diagram to show you afterwards. So we've got our earth element, our fire element, air element, electric, plant, water, ice. Each one has a different special ability as we just sat there and saw. Some of them for healing, some of them for damage per second sort of thing. Uh, some of them for, for tank to take the shield sort of thing as the earth element. That's pretty cool. What we also sit there and have on one of the main things a lot of people get confused about is the um, rarity of the account. Obviously, the rarer the account, the more uh, coinary air tokens get airdropped to you every time you, you sit there and, and fill the alchemy, um, alchemy um, slot with a thousand obsidian. So sitting there, you want to sit there and have the rarest account possible to get the most coins possible. Rare accounts at the moment with the, the, the rate, of, rate of 
pay out on the coins and everything. They're getting about $20 a day, I believe, at the moment, with the tokens that are rewarded for doing your um, five battles a day. But how do you sit there and get a rare account? Well, you have to meet the right conditions. So you have to have a majority of that rarity um, to sit there and, 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 and claim it. And it has to be uh, three or more, really, to, to be able to work. So here you can see a couple of examples. I have three rare dragons, uh, three uh, common dragons. So do, do they meet the criteria? Does he have three dragons of superior, superior quality? Yes, he has three rare. Uh, majority of dragons are that rarity. Yes, he has three. Um, if three dragons, they have more than zero uncommon, because of course you've got uncommon in between these two, which they have zero of. So in this case, this account would be classed as rare. Below here, you can sit there and see another example. He has one epic dragon, three uncommon, and three common. So he does not have a majority of epic dragons. So he fails on that front. He, um, he does not sit there and have... Um, majority of, 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 of rare, superior, superior rarity of, of that dragon. So um, again, they fell on that account. Um, in this case, uh, you can sit there and see again, in between, um, in between here, you'd sit there and have the rare dragons. So if you were to split this epic dragon out into what it was before, you'd sit there and have five rare, rare dragons. So this account would be classed as rare. Now, um, Going forth, going on, you sit there and you can see how the other examples would work. Let me sit there and, and just show you a little bit more on the breeding side. So as you sit there and you have your common and uncommon dragons, uh, you, can, you can breed these guys, but the second you go above uncommon and you start getting with the rares, the epics, the legendary and mythicals, you can only fuse them. So here you can sit there and see with the with the with the um with the common and uncommon, the more times you breed them and get an egg from them, the more expensive it gets each time you sit there and use the same two dragons. So you have to sit there and keep that in your calculations. And when you get down here, when you sit there and start fusing the dragons, you're going to need five dragons of of that rarity, and it's going to take, for example, on a rare dragon to get to an epic dragon, but you're going to need 200, 200 coinary tokens per dragon, so that's um, 1,000 coinary tokens, plus your five dragons, blend that all together, and then you're going to get an epic. Now, at today's market rates of uh, 25 cents, I think it is, to, um, to a coinary token, that's going to be $250 worth of token, plus your dragons, which are, um, went on sale in the drop for $60 each. So you can see, to get a high level account, it's not exactly going to be a cheap game to play at the higher ends. But remember, they give you starter dragons just for signing up. I'm going to put all the links in, in, in the description below so you can download the game. You can get your starter dragons and you can start playing and earning in this, in this game. Um, so that's going to be pretty cool. I'm going to show you one quick slide here with another little bit of information that you might find uh, useful. So here's the slide of just a little example of some of the stuff the devs have shared with us and how the economy and tokenomics is going to work and the cost and price of things. So bottom right, you can sit there and see article merger. You can take five common items, merge them together with five coinary tokens to create an uncommon item, and so forth and so thing up the chain. Five uncommon items to a rare, five rare items with an epic at a cost of 100 coinary tokens, so forth, so on. Um, five legendary to one mythical item for 500 coinary tokens. So you can sit there and see an idea there of items. Dragons just to the left of that. You can breed the common and uncommon dragons together sort of thing. The second you go above that, I mean, they can breed and pop out a, a rare dragon if you, if you get the genetics right. But the second you go above that, you can only start fusing the dragons. Five rare into an epic, five epics into a legendary, so forth and so on. And the costs associated with doing so. Uh, above that, you can sit there and see, as we were saying about the cost of breeding, how it gets more expensive the more times you breed said dragon. And then top left, you can sit there and see the max dragon levels per um, rarity. So common, level 20, uncommon, 40, 60, uh, 80, and then 100, respectively. You know. um, 
as they sit there and the different levels there, they evolve at different rates sort of things. So a rare is going to evolve the first time at a different level to say a common is going to evolve. So um, we still have to sit there, crunch the data and have a look at what levels they're going to sit there and start evolving around at. But yeah, that's just a little bit of information there to, to, to check out. Okay, so we've had a little look at the game, a little look at the white paper. I'm now going to just sit there and have a little look into the initial ape offering, initial coin offering of Dragon Aries token. I know a few people were still confused over the oversupply sale, the way that that ran, and quite what you were buying into. It's the first time a lot of you are probably sitting there and buying into crypto games, the first time you're using MetaMask, Trust Wallet, etc., etc. So how they actually did this was they ran an oversupply sale. So what that means is you can commit as much money as you want to it, but if it's oversold, you're only going to get a fractional share of, of, of the pot. This stops the whales sitting there buying it all up and, and locking out other people. It's a good way of doing it, but, um, but yeah, you get different percentages based on how much that, um, that offering uh, gets bought up sort of thing. So yeah, as you can sit there and see, this is, this is the information down here. This went live August the 7th um, within our Telegram um, baby whale group and the Facebook Discord um, dog slayer group. We sat there and gave lots of notice um, so people could get in on this. We were talking about this maybe on the 4th or on the 3rd of August so people could still do their research and uh, decide if they want to jump on board or not. This launched at 0 0.01 cent per token. One cent per token. Okay, so they had 60 million uh, coinary tokens up for offer. They wanted to raise $600,000. And as you can sit there and see down here, a lot of people liked it. 7,684% uh, over oversold sort of thing. So that means um, if you sat there and, and, and put some money in, uh, you don't get $1 one for one coinary token. You don't get your even amount. So you get a refund. I've got a little slide to show you again after that. But also what I just wanted to touch on is the idea of how the vesting worked. Because you can sit there and see here the claim buttons. So rather than sitting there buying the token in the initial APE offering and then getting 100% of that token, to help the economy what the devs decided here was to lock up the tokens for 30, 60 and 90 days. So you get the first 25% of your tokens on, on, on release, on completion of the offering, uh, the next 25% in 30 days, 60 and 90 as I sit there and say. Um, so instantly once this completed this ran for 12 hours and then uh, it was floated on the on the on the crypto exchanges if you like so the second this went on the crypto exchanges or you can sit there over and poo coin terrible name but a lot of information here great site you can sit there and see the um the charts and everything here so everyone that we sat there was chatting and putting this out to bought in at 0 0.01 cent you can sit there and see today um it's the, it's the 13th of August, it's trading at 24 cents a, a token, <laughs> so 24 times your, times your money, uh, even, with this, even with this fall off. But if you sat there on the day, uh, you could have sat there and, and traded anywhere between, you can sit there and see, anywhere between uh, 20, dollars, 20 cents and, uh, and 40 cents. So, you, you know, 20 times, 40 times your money on that, on that first day, no problem, pretty happy with that. This was to be expected, and this is, um, of course, uh, normal, if you like. People are creating that in-game currency. The burn aspect of this token has not started yet. I'll give it another 10 days or so, the marketplace will open up. You'll be able to spend your coinary token in-game sort of thing, and we're going to sit there and, and start seeing some more movement on, on, on this chart, I believe. We can sit there. Let's go over quickly, see how many people are currently holding that token. Now, this is a healthy number. I like to sit there and see this. So 59,000 wallets, individual wallets, hold this token within it. Um, this is the contract address up here. If you, if you need to add it to your MetaMask, you, you, you copy this out. You go to your MetaMask. You add a custom coin at the bottom. You type that in there, and it will um, just add it in the system. So any coinary tokens you then have in your wallet will display in your MetaMask wallet. You can sit there and see here the different wallets that are holding that token and what percentage of the amount um, overall supply they have. These are probably dev wallets, these would be liquidity pools maybe, or just really rich people. <laughs> 
Um, but that's just a little idea there. So let's just sit there and have one quick look at, at how that worked with the oversupply sale of the Coinary token. I've just got a couple of examples here to, sh to show you, so maybe you can get your head around what actually happened there, because a lot of you sit there uh, uh, and are confused by it. So you can sit there and see in example one, the sale was 10 times overcommitted. So the total amount of tokens for sale, 2 million, uh, amount for sale, 50 cents sort of thing, amount to raise 1 million, amount actually raised 10 million, so it's 10 times the amount obviously. If you sat there and put $1,000 in there sort of thing, um, you see, get there and you see a portion of the, of the funds received. This isn't um, for Coinary, but just imagine this is the Coinary token sort of thing. So you would have got 200, 200 uh, Coinary tokens if these were the numbers sort of thing. So um, you get $100 worth of Coinary tokens, and you get a $900 refund. So this is what happened. We got an oversell of uh, nearly like 7,000% 7, 7, um, oversell. So um, a hell of a lot. Example two, uh, twice, um, you know, 200% committed sort of thing. Amount to be raised, uh, 1 million. Total amount raised, 2 million. You, you sub, sub, subscribe uh, $1,000 to that. So it's split 50-50. 50, 50. 50 uh, $500 would get refunded, uh, $500 get put into, into, into the Coinary token, get committed over to uh, the Coinary token. Um, and then obviously at the very bottom here, you can sit there and see if it was an exact amount committed, you'd get 100% of that token that you committed, uh, deposited um, and available to claim. So that's how that works. I know a lot of people were confused over that. So let's take a quick look on the in-game interface now and some of the text boxes and everything. Here you've got your in-game Coinary token, your energy bar, your account rarity, you can sit there and see common, uncommon, rare, epic, legendary, mythical. But this account is rare. Um, I will upgrade this hopefully when we can start using. Here you can see some of the dragons sort of thing. The rare cards are NFTs. The, the common and uncommon um, are just regular. They're not going to be made into NFTs. So they were still waiting for the devs to sit there and implement that side of things. Um, so that would be exciting. The cave, we have our nest where we still have a few eggs, I believe, to um, sit there and look at. So maybe I'll sit there and um, hatch one of these little guys for you while we're here. So they don't take too long to hatch. Click on that. Come back in uh, 15 seconds and that'll be done. Uh, we'll sit there and look at the forge. Here you can sit there and put some of the elements together. You can sit there and see these are the sparks you get from the dungeons. You get one spark per dungeon sort of thing. Uh, you've got the, um, the the wind there, I think it is, yeah. And you've got the earth. You can sit there and, oh, they've got that live diffusing. So we get that as a try for live diffusing. Oh, I think that is. We sit there and got the, the rare as well sort of thing. Let's throw that in there. Fuse that together and see what happens. Oh, there we go. So now we've got the uh, the wind ember. So when we're breeding, we add that in there, and that helps with the breeding. We we'll throw one of these in as well. Um, that's the um, earth spark from doing the dungeons. And there we go. We've got the um, ember of earth, um, which is great, and that seems to be working okay. There they are. They've popped up in there. Um, that's pretty cool. The altar. You can sit there here and breed. You put your common and uncommon dragons in here. You you you, you pay the fee. You put your ember in there. And, um, and away you go, you get an egg. That's not live yet, we've got again, like I say, wait a few days for that to go live. Fuse in, put your five dragons in there, fuse them together. A disenchant, I'm not sure quite what that is yet, we're going to have to have a explore around that later. Uh, the barracks, you can sit there and make your formations. I've got my tank at the front, my healer, and then my uh, damage, my two damage guys, Frost and Electric. That's pretty cool, pretty standard. And then you've got your obsidian from your alchemy. You need to get that to 1,000 um, 1, to um, sit there and get your, uh, get your daily reward. Here's our little dragon that we just had. Pretty cool. All right, let's jump on in and let's, um, let's, do, an, let's do an ember. This is the play to, play to earn side of the game. So whereas the story mode, you get um, experience. This side, you get sparks and you get the much needed obsidian to, uh, to um, be able to claim your daily reward. 200 obsidian from a successful dungeon plus one spark from said enemy, whatever one you went in on. They're really easy, really fast to grind. We're all on easy mode at the moment. Um, hopefully soon the devs will sit there and put the medium mode, hard mode out there, and it'll be a bit more complex and a little bit more of what we've got to do for it all. But these guys are 
Um, I love the little electric and the ice burst. I really, I really quite, I like their attack. I like what they get up to. And I still think they're so overpowered. But I probably won't think that when I play the hard mode. There they go. So there's three rounds here. That little baby dragon at the end is the, is the boss. Uh, we've got to sit there and complete this. And uh, hope that the screen doesn't glitch and I can sit there and show you um, the spa and the obsidian that you claim. And they've got a few glitches that are being problematic at the moment. And it's glitched. <sighs> Alright, so normally here it would display uh, the experience, your obsidian and your, um, and your spark. Hopefully it's still claimed to the bank. Let's go and have a quick look in the cave. Hopefully it's still there. We'll check if it used the energy. Yes, it's used energy and it's shown as a reward. So that's all right. That, that's okay then. All right, well, that was um, a quick dive into it all. Hopefully you get a quick idea. That was a little bit longer than a five-minute video, but there's so much information to go over and I've hardly even touched half of it. So thanks again. Thanks for watching. Hope that's useful. I'm going to drop the links down below for... Um, for um, some of the information, where to download the game from, the Discord groups, the Telegram groups, and uh, the socials of it all. But um, yeah, hopefully you found that useful, and let's get playing Dragon Airy.